Greetings, I'm Mike Grontman. This video clip demonstrates space mission geometry for communications provided by satellites in 12-hour Molnaya orbits. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. The simulations are performed using AGI's STK. This video clip demonstrates space mission geometry for communications provided by satellites in 12-hour Molnaya orbits. The simulation covers 10 days. The red vector facing you is the vernal equinox vector. The sun is on the left illuminating the Earth. The yellow band on the surface is the equator. The orbit in our example is elliptical with a period of 12 hours, perigee altitude 500 km and apogee altitude 39,867 km. The line connecting periapsis and apoapsis of the orbit, that is, the line connecting perigee and apogee, is known as the line of apsides. The line of apsides usually rotates in the orbital plane. So the orbit apogee over the northern hemisphere would rotate with time to a position over the southern hemisphere. The rate of rotation of the line of apsides depends on orbit's semi-major axis, eccentricity and inclination. There are two orbit inclinations, 63.4 degrees and 116.6 degrees, when the rotation of apsides equals zero. In our example, orbit inclination is 63.4 degrees and the line of apsides does not rotate. In other words, positions of orbit apogee and perigee stay where they are in the orbital plane. Such an orbit is called a Molnaya orbit. One can place a communications or relay satellite in a Molnaya orbit with apogee over the northern hemisphere. When the satellite slowly moves near apogee, it would provide an excellent communication coverage for the northern areas of the globe. Note that geostationary satellites in near equatorial orbits are unsuitable for communications with the polar regions. While Molnaya satellites do not appear stationary in the sky for an observer on the ground, their apparent motion near apogee is rather slow. In our example, the satellite provides a communication link between two points located in the north, Fairbanks in Alaska and Narvik in Norway. We also assume that the link requires the minimal elevation angle of the satellite 20 degrees for Fairbanks and 35 degrees for a mountainous surrounding of Narvik. The elevation angle is the angle of satellite over the horizon as seen from an observation point. The communication link requires simultaneous visibility of both points on the ground from a satellite, constrained by minimal elevation angles of the ground points. One Molnaya satellite would provide the link only for several hours during the day. To achieve a continuous communication link 24 hours per day between these two points, one needs three Molnaya satellites with orbits distributed in longitude. In other words, one needs three satellites in three identical Molnaya orbits with different right ascensions of ascending nodes. One can see that such configuration provides uninterrupted communication link between the points on the ground and the polar regions. Sometimes two communication links are available at the same time. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. Thank you for watching. I am Mike Grontman.